This is Wardlow from AEW, and you're watching The Joe Cronin Show. A wrestling podcast with attitude. So um, many of you guys sent me this article from PW Torch the other day, which I just kind of refused to do a video on. Um, and they've actually fired uh, the columnist of PW Torch. Uh, it was a column regarding the death of John Huber. Uh, PW Torch parts ways with Bruce Mitchell after 30 years. Bruce Mitchell Mitchell wrote this uh, post that was like basically saying like, oh, you know, Something more is going on here, you know, about, you know, the whatever. I don't even want to get into it, really. Now, many of you guys sent me the article, and I sort of just looked at it, and I said, yeah, I get you. It's very strange. But everything we know is that it's strange from the company. It's strange from the... It's, it's strange for your loved one to die. Like, that's strange. I lost my father at eight years old. You know, I'm 36. I lost my dad when I was eight, so, you know... You know, I'm always there to give, to, you know, I, I understand how this kind of can feel. But, you know, I never had anybody trying to be like, tell us why your father died, you know, and things like that. And it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just dealing with, I, we don't even know 100%. You know, so I, I, I don't know why. I understand the questions because we are curious as f people and fans. We, you want to know because you're upset too. But nobody's as upset as the family. But to, to basically be like, listen, we, you know, there's some kind of big thing going on we don't know about probably. And this type of conspiracy article to come out so quickly is, I, I guess it's a little bizarre. There, were, there was a lot of people who thought about this and mentioned this, but nobody, you know, I, nobody really talked about it until I saw it on PW Torch. And I was like, all right, somebody ran with this. You know, and I guess the it got back to the uh, to to uh, John's wife because she mentioned it. Um, and uh, she actually posted, I think, on Instagram or maybe it was Twitter or Instagram. Um, Brody Lee's wife reacts to article that she hints she's hiding something. I mean, that is, Dude, it's just like, that's why I didn't do a video on this. Like, I understand that it's strange that, you know what I mean? When somebody has an aneurysm or something terrible happens to somebody out of nowhere. Yes, it's shocking. It's certainly even more shocking and hard, you know, hard to, you know, fathom when you don't really know 100% what exactly went wrong. I'm sure the family is going to be trying to figure that out with autopsies and talking to doctors and Maybe there's more information that at some point we'll find out. But yeah, to run with an article that's all about this, you know, is kind of, I'm surprised, you know what I mean? But now the guy's been fired, which is, you know, not surprising to me really. And, you know, maybe the guy will write under a ghostwriter name. You never know. Um, She wrote, you have to try to figure out how to imagine your future now. Then you read a journalist demanding transparency and insinuate you're hiding something, that it's some type of cover-up, something more sinister. There's no cover-up. There's no conspiracy. There was just stories. Uh, there was just a series of unfortunate events that ended in your world being crushed. And she wrote this whole article about their life and everything and... I mean, PW Torch right now is like public enemy number one. Um, listen, I'm no, I'm no white, I'm no, you know, saint or white knight, you know, to pile on somebody like P pile on PW Torch, you know what I mean? But this, I'll, I'll just be honest, man, I would not have done this. You know, I'm a pretty shocking person myself and I'll say some crazy stuff. But, you know, you guys, some of you guys, I won't even out the people that sent it to me. Many of you guys commented you you believed this before this article even came out. You said something's going on here. Something's weird about this. And then an article came out about that very thing. And not, at no time did I ever make a video on, like, what's going on. or Because we don't know. You know what I mean? This People die all the time and nobody knows why or no one finds out for months. You know what I mean? Because then an article comes out 
cause of death, reason why. You know, but within a couple of days, there was an article like, oh, it's a big conspiracy. What? You know, so I just think that that was crazy. Of course, you know, it's disrespectful and just really insensitive. I mean, it really is, you know. I mean, if I had done it, I would have been terribly ashamed of myself. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just, I'm worried about the kid, his wife, the whole family, all his friends, his real friends, not us, the wrestling fans who just, you know what I mean, talk about him or watched his work over the years. Of course, you know, people, we're upset. But you think we're upset and you think people are upset that don't know him that want answers. Imagine how the family feels. Imagine what kind of answers and how they've felt. You know what I mean? So it's like, dude, like I can't, I can't, I'm shocked that a website would publish that. But, you know, I, I, I don't think the guy should be strung up in the streets or something like that. But I think that it's a little weird that he decided to, to write that. You know, you could have waited, you know, could have waited and said, you know, this is certainly a strange situation and we will, you know, something certainly doesn't feel right. And there's all these questions and we don't know. Hopefully soon or sometime we'll have more information to be able to to talk about it. But instead of writing something like that, or or even saying that, you know, it feels weird or it feels wrong, or this is one of the most strangest um, things that we've ever seen, you know, in the wrestling world or in the entertainment business, and uh, shocking that this happened and that we don't really have any answers at all. Uh, very strange, but we'll keep you updated. You know, and then you would have done like journalism work after that and tried to figure it out. But instead, you know, they just kind of went right with like, here's my theory, you know, like, and it was kind of like, wow. I don't know. So, you know, in the end, I'd have to say, I, you know, I this is why I didn't cover this. But man, PW Torch is, I mean, what a mess. What a mess. What do you guys think about this? Do you think PW Torch was disgusting and wrong? Do you think it was wrong? But, you know, people make mistakes, move on, whatever. Do you think that they're disgusting? They should be like removed from the internet. Are you like full SJW on them? You know, I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I just, I feel bad that the, it, you know, what stinks is I don't necessarily mind that much that somebody wants to be a weird and write conspiracy articles about stuff. I don't really necessarily have a problem with that in, in, a, in a sense, but it's just like, you almost wish that it's just too bad that the family saw it. You know what I mean? You're, you're a, pretty well-known, you know, wrestling website. It's just too bad that the family saw it. You know, it's not like it wasn't a joke. It was a real article. You know what I mean? Like it was a real attack in an article um, or some kind of call out, you know? So that's the weird thing. It's not like, you know, when, when, when I go off and make a joke about a wrestler or when I make a joke about somebody and I make fun of somebody and it's like, I'm just making fun of somebody here in my basement on my show saying something. And then somebody says, oh, you're a bully. It's like, well, I'm not a bully. I just said something funny or mean. But and then the thousands of Twitter people attack me and then tell me how I should be killed and my kids should be taken away from me. That's bullying. You know what I mean? You're, you're calling me a bully for saying something mean, like a joke or something like that. But you're actually the bully. Um, but but this was a real article that was like really questioning something. So it was just, you know, I I wouldn't have done it, but maybe you guys think differently. I'm curious to read the comments about this down below. But tonight, Brody Lee's son booked AEW Dynamite, and it's going to be a big tribute show to his life. If you guys know me, I've talked about how I've always thought that this guy was a solo star and should be in great matches. You know, he should be at the top of the mid card in WWE in the singles competition once he moves on from his tag team with Rowan. That never came to pass the way it should have. I always thought he kind of reminded me a little bit of, you know, a little Mankind Undertaker mix with a little bit of that, you know, Bruiser Brody style with the name Brody Lee, but that he could really perform athletically too in these matches. And, you know, we got to see some of that in AEW finally. We got to see that in AEW for a split second. So, you know, I, I deal, I, you know, I just feel bad for the family that they read this and the, that it bothered, it caused any extra grief on top of everything. You know, I, I'm not calling for people to be canceled or websites to be canceled and stuff like that. I'm not into that at all. You know, you make people make mistakes. People do terrible things and make mistakes. 
I just, there's no undoing it that the family saw it. And that's what's too bad about everything. That it was brought to their attention, that they saw it. I mean, they should have really just, la you know, just said, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? And that's it. It moved on, but it's gotten all this attention now. Anyway, what do you guys think? Leave in the comments down below. And I'll be live tonight right here on the Joe Cronin Show after AEW Dynamite. And it's just been an awful week. We lost Larry Funk, longtime listener of the Joe Cronin Show. I want to thank TSS for the top moments of the year. And uh, this tribute to Larry Funk was beautiful by Larry. I mean by TSS. And also, thank you to uh, everybody who's been liking, commenting, and subbing and everything like that down below. You know, we have tons of videos. And of course, just losing all the people we've lost this year is just the list. I keep forgetting the people that are gone because I can't remember. And, you know, we have friends that have COVID, have gotten COVID, have had it and lost it and battled it. And, you know, other things that have gone on and just it's a awful just year, man. I can't even keep track. You know, so anybody out there struggling, man, I, I'm so sorry to you. And, you know. It could be bad for me soon, too. You know, right now, nothing, we're okay over here. But, you know, I I grew up with, you know, my father dying and running out of money and alcoholic new boyfriend of my mother. And, you know, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day and, you know, stuff like that. And just I know that people are, that's, you know, child abuse is crazy right now. I, it's unbelievable. The food banks, the food pantries are stocked up. They're, they're backed up cars everywhere. If anybody has five to 10 bucks extra a month, you know what I mean? And like, you can throw it to the local food pantries that you have because five to 10 bucks goes a long way. Five to 10 bucks does like $60 worth of your food that you would eat. And so like, I don't know, man, it really helps out a lot of people. And if you're if you're doing okay or doing all right or not not even affected too much by this, and you can throw five to ten bucks to food food banks, food pantries, and I mean like, make sure do your local ones that are near you because you may be going to them yourself at some point. So, and tell all your friends about it. You know we can really public fund uh, these food places just just to make sure the one there's at least one guarantee, and that's that everybody's going to get food. You know that's the one guarantee that we can do especially people that are still in work, you know, is, is drop five, 10 bucks, you know, maybe we don't, maybe we got net Netflix, maybe you got Dis Disney plus, maybe you got the Joe Cronin show Patreon, but maybe you drop, you know, Netflix super plus, or maybe you drop, <laughs> maybe you drop uh spanker vision or something like that, or, you know, I don't know, YouTube premium. And you just go, all right, I'm going to watch the ads. I'm going to drop the YouTube TV or whatever. I don't know. And you'd be like, yo, 10 bucks to the food banks. Oh, we, if thousands of us did that, man, oh my God, the difference it would make is crazy. And we can at least guarantee that nobody's going to be hungry, you know, at all. E e you know, even if you're the worst off ever, e you know, it, we're going to make it so crazy that homeless people are going to be showing up at the food banks that used to go other places or used to just, you know, do other things. They're, they're going to have so much food at the food banks, they're going to be calling people to, to call, hey, come and get the food. We got too much of it, you know? I don't know. The, what a weird rant. I don't know why I'm going off into this, man, but I just hope everybody's okay. You know, I know that I make a lot of crazy jokes and say a lot of crazy stuff on my show, and certainly I am a psycho. But, man, and, and I, hope that, I hope that Brody's kids are okay, man. I hope that, you know... I held that stuff in with my dad for so long that it, look at the weird we've been talking about it this week. My all of a sudden it's like I've developed anxiety over the last couple of years, like really badly. And I got like PTSD or something. And it's all from like holding stuff in for years and years and stuff like that. So it's like, man, I hope that they get plenty of support. They, and they will, you know, JR is already hanging out with them and stuff. Just, uh, you know, take care of the kids, man, and give them lots of love and give them lots of positive role models. And that goes for anybody in out, you know, that ever has stuff like this happen. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, what do you think? I'll see you tonight live after AEW, guys. That's it. I'm done with my weird speech about weird stuff. Thank you, and I'll see you tonight live for the AEW review. Go watch these other videos that I put up.